All right, everyone, welcome back to another watch and talk here at Automotive of Anatomy. Um, so first and foremost, yes, very, very first watch with the E30. Um, so it was super exciting just to clean something that has different angle shapes, um, design. I definitely felt the, the difference. I know it's weird, I know, but I, I felt the difference in the arches on the fender in the back and the, the, the rear wheel, um, you know, just the design overall. The car is small, I guess you would say. So very easy to clean even though it's not uh, lowered I was still able to you know clean the roof no problem and so uh, yeah I got excited uh, today at the time of this recording I got to register the car so um, I still have to obviously get the smog and get insurance uh, insurance and so that way I can start driving a little bit uh, but just excited I just wanted to watch it um, this color gives it a nice um, tone and even if the car is dirty, it doesn't look dirty. And so I really like that. Really, really legitimate like the color of the car. So, um, yeah. So, but first and foremost, I, I want to say thank you to everybody who tunes in. Today I was responding to some uh, comments. And there was, uh, I'm assuming a gentleman. But there was somebody who um, commented that they, they were listening to this on the drive in, in South Carolina. And I'm, it, it blows my mind that somebody in a different part of the world... Um, takes the time to to listen to you know some of my thoughts and even though we may disagree on a lot of different things i think we we can find common ground on a lot of different things and so uh, i appreciate you guys you know even those that you know may watch the videos and don't subscribe for whatever reason no problem uh, I, I definitely appreciate you guys' time and attention i think that um my overall goal for these videos all the videos is to motivate you to do something yourself um, whether it's building a car or whether it's starting a business or whether it's just going and washing your car, like that's my mission. If, if some of you guys are like, I, man, I kind of want to, you know, now wash my car cause I'm looking and wash this car. Then by all means, pause this video or, or, you know, uh, close the computer and go wash your car, man, you know, or, or young lady or whoever. Um, I think that's the whole idea, right? I think the whole point is to motivate you to find something that finds joy and peace and, and, and fulfillment. And so for me, watching the car gives me that um there's days that i'm just kind of stressed out over just different things and i just want to watch the car um not gonna lie there's times that watching the car stresses me out because i have to set up the you know the all of the, the materials i have to put it back in a certain order if i had my own space i would be able to just leave it and it would be the whole process would be so much easier but it's okay you know part of i guess uh, understanding is you have to enjoy the, the journey not just the destination so one day you guys are going to be able to see me wash my car in a, in a washing bay or you know in my own building or in my own house and and you're going to be like now nah, i remember when he used to wash it you know on that uh sideways or angle driveway in the, in the apartment complex and so kind of like some of you guys who have been with the channel for many years with the interviews, you guys know that I started with a phone. You guys know that I started with a selfie stick that my brother bought for me. Um, and, and you guys were like, hey, we need we need a better audio, right? So I'm like, okay, let me get a mic. And then speaking of that, I'm trying a different mic. Hopefully it works. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to play with different ideas. So uh, you guys let me know how this audio sounds. Sometimes I think that it sounds okay. And then you guys are like, man, I could hear your breathing all the time. Uh, Thank you, Rob, from Canada, always reminding us. Uh, but no, I, I, I definitely um, I appreciate your feedback. And that's exactly the segue that I want to go into, opinions. Um, the reason why I, I started thinking about this is because I came across this video of uh, this gentleman with his buddies. They, were, they went to a Carson Coffee. Um, the gentleman is nearby. Uh, so he goes to he went to a coffee me Carson coffee that I have uh, I was a, was not able to go because I was out of town um, and I was let me just watch you know what he does or what he says about the cars and I don't know I don't know you know opinions we all have them whether they're good or bad and just because a car doesn't look a certain way or something that doesn't appeal to you um, I personally don't believe that uh, it's not that it's not appropriate or not that it's not acceptable or not that it's, you know, it's wrong. I mean, again, everybody has their opinions. I just think that it's not a good look. I think that's the best way I can I can express it. Um, this gentleman was making fun of some of the stuff that, you know, the cars had. And the cars were very clean. And, and I don't know, I think maybe he, that's his style, you know, of trying to be funny by making fun of some of the cars that had attended. And... 
I felt myself getting annoyed because it's almost like, well, you're going out to this event, you're putting it on video. Number one, just, just you know, if somebody sees this that owns those cars, um, depending on their personality, they may even become physical with you, you know, next time they see you. Uh, so that's one. Number two, I also think that it's it's a um, disservice to the people that are taking their cars because you don't know anything about their personal life. You don't know anything about their budget. And so for someone to, you know, go around with a camera saying, oh, that's cool. Look at that paint job or, you know, just random things. Um, I find it disrespectful for sure. Uh, but again, you they have their platform and they're able to do whatever they want. Um, I think part of it is the person doesn't understand or doesn't realize that yes you may get a couple laughs out of some people but you're also creating a sense of a, a community of you know being negative in my opinion um i don't walk around saying all the flaws that cars have because my own cars have so many flaws uh yes pictures on instagram and the internet they they, they look great right well there's a lot of editing behind it uh, but even if my car quote unquote was um perfect which i don't think no car exists that is perfect i still don't feel entitled or feel that i should you know be able to go in and and talk negatively about somebody else's car because i don't know anything about them um that's a conversation uh, i even had with uh, uh fm spec where i was like just because you don't like a certain thing it doesn't mean that if somebody else likes it is right or wrong it's just that's what they like and yes there's we know that there's certain things that uh, look better on a car um, let's go with authentic parts right yes we know that authentic parts look better they fit better 99% of the time than from reps well what if the other person doesn't have the budget for authentic parts um, does that make it okay to go and, and now bash them on camera because you know uh, they have something and and the thing is what people don't understand is that we're still human beings we're still um, we're still tuning in to be able to see even if it's or car for two seconds, I still do that personally. You know, when I go to an event, I see somebody take a picture of my car or video. I still do that. Like I'm, I'm a regular human being, and and I feel like if somebody was to say, "Man, you know, Jackie looks like crap," um, I feel like I would I would take offense to that. I'd be like, "Well, you don't know anything about me or my budget or um, how I drive the car." Um, I I on a personal level like when the car has battle scars because it tells me that the car is driven, right? Um, but again, I think that's what differentiates my opinion from others. And I'm not saying that I'm 100% right because I'm not. But at the same time, I don't see the point of bashing others um, just because you have that platform. And, and and you guys know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I, I oh, even watching the videos, the interviews, you guys know I can definitely come up with, um, I guess you would say rude comments or rude jokes like um you know messing around with integrity and the civics um and i had i had i read a comment from a guy and i didn't even respond because i got triggered uh in one of the interviews he's like dude stop with the bs you know he wrote it stop with the bs we know you love civics and integrity like stop pretending um and and i was like maybe he maybe he the way he typed it was laughing and i read it like he was mad like um but you guys obviously well not obviously but most of you guys know that i do love all types of cars uh and the civics and integrators are amazing uh, but the reality is that i just like to make you know a joke out of it and to some people it might not be a joke and so i've had that conversation conversation with others and you guys can definitely see in the interviews i i tell you guys the truth like no i actually love these cars um civics and integrators have way more aftermarket support they they look 99 percent of the time more aggressive cleaner than a court um, and that's because again the aftermarket support i need to repaint this grail i'll be meeting up with armando since he knows more about e30s we might do a uh tune-up and a couple other things and then uh respray some of the trim so that way we can make it look better but man something about those that front end just so cool man it's 80s i, I love it but um yeah, using the little brush to to our advantage uh bought it off of amazon i think it was like 10 bucks it's really good it, it helped with the wheels the bbs um has those little you know tight angles and so it worked very nice and um that trim that i'm cleaning at that moment it, it needs to be uh refreshed quite a bit but you know with all due time as i mentioned in the in the intro video uh 
I don't know what I'm going to do with this car. If if somebody offers a decent amount, then yeah, I'll let her go. Uh, but if not, the moment is the plan is to keep and to drive and enjoy, right? Uh, we shall see. But yeah, uh, going back to what I was letting you guys know about the the video, it just rubbed me the wrong way, and I'm like, okay, I didn't finish the video. I just said um, this individual I think is creating a sense of um, a community of people that are going to come and make fun of others. And that's just definitely something I don't want to, you know, be part of. So I, I obviously put do not recommend this channel anymore. And it's I don't know. It, it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to understand why somebody feels the need to put others down. I, I don't know if that makes them feel better or do they think that, um, you know, that's going to help them bond with others. I think my. My honest opinion, I think that this channel, Automotive Anatomy, has been able to grow because it it's actually really, um, I, I don't know how to say it, it's, it's trying to flourish with a positive environment, if that makes sense. It's trying to really create a tight niche of enthusiasts from all different backgrounds, all different builds. Yes, I neglect the American muscle. Trust me, guys, I'm working on it. I've hit up people with Mustangs and Camaros, and they just don't get back to me. I promise you guys, I'm not trying to just neglect that muscle course because I do like some muscle course, not all of them, um, but I can respect the build. And, and there's some people that I've uh, interviewed that maybe I personally would never buy that kind of car, but I love the fact that they took the time to go and, 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 and pursue that build, right? Because I think at the end of the day, all of us can relate to a car in one way or another, only we know how right and even if you're driving a four now if somebody has a cool four ranger dude i'm down to interview them because there is a market for that there is there is people out there who are passionate about a four rangers um or you know chevy you know blazers or whatever whatever the case may be it doesn't always have to be honda and so i i am of that belief that that's the reason why automotive anatomy continues to grow because you guys see the value that we're trying to provide for you guys um could I go around a car meet and just start pointing out all the flaws? Yes. But what is the image that I'm building for myself? How would you, the person who has never met me, think of me? And it's crazy because I've come across some other videos of people that I really, really like their work, uh, their pictures and videos and things like that. And then when, when they're talking on camera and they're just, quote unquote, being themselves and they come off as very judgy or very you know, nonchalant about certain things. And I'm just like, hmm, maybe I'm reading it the wrong way. Maybe that's just their personality. I don't know. But it just rose me the wrong way. I've always been of that mentality to help others, to to never make somebody feel left out or, or feel bad. Um, as you guys know, I like to talk a lot of smack. I, I like to joke around with my buddies, with Nestor and um, other people, you know. But it's because they started it. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to play with you. But I am of that belief that if you can, you know, handle it, don't even start. And, and sadly, yes, I, I have to admit, um, there's been many, many times. I should I should probably learn my lesson, but I don't. There's been many times where I've had to tell somebody like, hey, man, like, I, I don't want to joke with you anymore. Because you can't handle it. Honestly, guys, like 95% of the time, I have to tell them like, hey, I can't because I guess... I guess you you get upset and I get it we we all have you know bad days but my mentality is if you're gonna go and make fun of somebody then you should be able to accept it all the time because let's be real we're gonna have different type of days and so obviously I never make fun of anybody's family or girlfriend or spouse like that's obviously those are out of but if you're gonna make fun of me about my weight or anything I'm gonna go at it as well um but obviously again it's it's people that started. I don't ever do that to somebody. I have very close friends that I've been able to meet through this journey that would never mess with them because they have never given me one sense of like, yeah, this I, I like to joke like that. And so that I appreciate that. And I appreciate people that, you know, can like uh, homie Nestor, man. He's always bashing me and I'm always bashing him back. Homie Chapas uh, or Chispas, you know, uh, you know, so until they get mad, then I'll be like, hey, uh, I guess, you know, could I handle it? Let's let's leave it at that. But but that's me joking. You know, there's a understanding that I'm I'm joking with them. I'm playing with them. I would never, ever go to a stranger's car and say, man, look at the suspension on this. Look at these red wheels. 
It's super disrespectful. Not only, I'm going to be honest, not only from a safety point of view where somebody can be, you know, aggressive physically and, and, and not, not condoning it, but I can understand where that owner would come and be like, hey, bro, like, now that I'm in front of you, would you like to say something about my car? And then you're like, oh, shoot. Um, but besides that, besides that, I think that it's just, it's bad taste. It's bad taste as an individual. And I'll share with you guys a story. Um, back when Automotive Anatomy had just started, we were like in our infancy, you know, uh, two, three months into it. The channel did not have many subscribers, you know, uh, and I went to a, a Cars and Coffee that's very popular. And, and I've shared this story before, but it, it always gets to me because as, you know, the host provides also, you know, little things here and there, you know, uh, merch. Uh, there was a host and a, a bunch of his friends looking at some of the cars that were rolling in. And I was just kicking back, you know, just listening and how they were describing some of the cars that were not as nice. Man, it rubbed me the wrong way, like bad. And to this day, those are some of the individuals that I've never asked to interview. Um, and And they may even know who they are. They may even wonder why I've never asked. But it's because of that. It it, it was such, um, to me, uh, upsetting to, to hear that from other individuals who think that their car is the best and that, you know, since they spent X amount of money on their wheels and their paint, that that somehow validates or makes them entitled to judge or to say negative things about other people. Um, the kicker was that one of the cars that passed by, yeah, I mean... Uh, I think the only reason they were bashing is because they didn't have the best suspension, but it had some nice, you know, rib wheels and it wasn't as low. It could have been, you know, it could have been lower. And they made some fun jokes about it, I guess. And I followed the car where it parked. I followed the owner. Owner got out of the car, came straight to where the host was and said, hey, man, I want I want to buy something from you. And the host was like, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Went and, and provided, you know, the merch. And then, the, you know, the guy left. And he was like happy, like, cool, you know, I got something. And in the back of my head, I was like, that just, this is just didn't happen. No way this just happened. The, this individual was making fun of this car. Gentleman comes out, buys merch from them. The guy's super happy. And I'm like, I would, and you know, again, the channel wasn't big back then. And to this day, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, how can you be so disrespectful? extremely disrespectful and so just to give you guys two different scenarios and then another one um somebody had commented about hey I, I tried buying certain product from certain you know company that you know and you know the owner was like oh no man like your car has to be up to certain standards for for you to be able to rock or merge oh my i'm like are you kidding me like somebody's spending their hard-earned money to show support and that's the message so for me as you guys know there's been people in Germany that have bought shirts. I appreciate you guys. Surprisingly, there's, I feel like there's so many more people in the East Coast that have shown love than people on the West Coast uh, when it comes to the merch. Can you guys not? Like when my wife packs it, she's like, oh, this one's going to South Carolina. This one's going to Virginia. This one's going to Connecticut or wherever, you know, or like, like it, it blows my mind. And, and please, I, I hope you guys understand that the person that, that, is on camera that's the way i am outside of camera and maybe i talk so much more smack outside of camera but i am of that mentality man like i'm cool with all builds i if you ever ask for my opinion and say hey how do you like this i would say i personally do or don't like this but i'm always gonna do a follow-up of do whatever you want build the freaking car however you want don't listen to others just do whatever you want if you want to put big old stickers then put big old stickers my wife uh found some uh some pictures from like 2011 12 13 something like that and i have all my sticker bomb interior automatic transmission um yeah i did sticker bomb on my i bought the the, the sticker booklet and i put a whole bunch of stickers inside the dash and then i mean everything i had stickers everywhere man and I look back and I'm like, damn, no wonder people didn't like it. But I don't care. I liked it. I, I loved it. And so who cares? Do what makes you happy. Just because now I, I can't afford to buy M7 wheels, it doesn't mean that reps are bad. I'm rocking reps. I'm rosy. And even my buddy was like, bro, you can't be, you cannot be repping, you know, reps. You cannot rock them, dude. And I was like, why? 
So because they're rep, I'm like, he's like, especially you that the channel's growing, like you want a better view of your brand. I said, that's exactly why, man, because I'm not trying to look rich being broke. You know, um, I don't, I don't care what people think it, you know, I don't, like I, I mentioned it before, I don't get super motivated and happy when people root for me, because if I do, that means that I'm dependent on that. That means that when somebody says something negative is going to affect me just as bad. No, I'm I'm true to myself. That's that's the way I am. That's the way I should be. And if I want to rock rip wheels, I really don't care what other people say about my wheels. They can say, hey, man, like, you know, it could look better. Oh, yeah, I know. It could look better. Thanks. But if they ever say, like, hey, man, when are you going to buy real wheels? My honest answers to them is well, provide me with the money and i'll go buy whatever you tell me to buy <laughs> you know and it comes as very rude but at the, at the same time it's almost like letting some people know like hey like if you have the entitlement to share your opinion when nobody asked i have my 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 entitlement to respond the way i feel is appropriate but I've, again you know everybody has an opinion I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am so grateful and appreciative for the things that you have done for me. Uh, just being, you know, super positive, commenting, uh, not engaging when somebody leaves a negative, you know, review or a negative comment or a negative thing about an owner. You guys don't engage. You guys kind of are always motivating and positive. And that's the community that we want to continue to grow, want to flourish that. So uh, kudos to you guys. It's all you guys, by you guys, for you guys. And so I'm just the one holding the GoPro literally as i'm saying this so thank you guys so much for the love and the support um yeah let me know uh the e30 is gonna stay stock to be honest with you guys i like it too much just clean it up uh but other than that i'm very stoked and um we'll catch you guys in the next one appreciate it and uh have a wonderful day or night whenever you watch this peace